Welcome to One Girl in All the World, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer rewatch podcast where we recap each episode in order and discuss. I'm Ashley, Buffy super fan. Kimmy, Buffy newbie. You can find us on all major podcast apps, YouTube and Instagram, with new episodes on Tuesdays. So okay. can I just gloat for a second that yeah. I got the question right? You did. You did. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't hard. But... You might get this one as well. That is so so Ooh. fills your confidence up. But like okay. something really smells. Something really smells in here. Like, oh, it's this episode. It's bad eggs. It smells like bad <laughs> eggs. I love a cheesy joke. P.U. This, this episode. A, this episode was pretty bad. It was, um, it was hard to get through. Not going to lie. It's it's down there. It's down I, there. I remember the two episodes you go when, when you said these next two episodes are palate cleansers. And last episode, because I had such low expectations... I was like, this episode was actually really good. And then, so I don't know if I just came out of it and I was like, oh, this, this episode was good. So maybe this one wasn't so bad too. And I was just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. Last, uh, Ted was better than I remembered. This was about as bad as I remembered. It's pretty bad. So, yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll get through it and laugh about it. <laughs> bad Eggs originally aired on January 12th, 1998, written by Marty Noxon. Marty, what were you thinking? Because she's so good. And this is, this is a flop for her in my do, opinion. Wait, do you... Was this, a, like, you know how last one kind of reminded me of Stepford Wives? Yeah. I wonder if this is supposed to remind us of something we don't know, like a cult classic or something. Maybe. I didn't get Maybe that. And in my really research, like nothing. No. Okay, nobody. Might, no, nobody likes yeah. it. <laughs> okay, I forget it. If you look at any, like, like a lot of, like, websites, like, rank Buffy episodes and stuff, fans and, like, entertainment websites, and this is always, like, very, very low. Probably in the bottom five. Damn. Yeah, like, okay. easily. Um, it was directed by David Greenwald, and the synopsis is, Buffy and the gang are introduced to parenting through a school assignment that takes a very rotten turn. Meanwhile, two Wild West vampires come to town hunting for Buffy. At the same time, a rom- romance is in the air when Buffy and Angel continue to rendezvous, and Xander and Kuduya keep their liaison in the closet. No pun intended there. <laughs> Yeah, I so the, I liked the van, the cowboy vampires. I'll give you that. That was the one thing I liked. I did like them in theory, but I feel like this episode was like two very disjointed, half baked ideas, and they were like, "Let's just shove them together," because they're not like mm-hmm. enough on their own. And I think you're right. let's just we have these two disjointed ideas. Let's just put them together. Do you think they were just so focused on writing? Because you said it gets really good after this. Maybe they're just so focused on writing the rest of the stuff that they were just like, oh, shit, we don't have anything for this. <laughs> so Maybe. Let's just make some shit. I mean, that wouldn't be a far stretch considering what we saw. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. kind of brutal, this episode. Um, <laughs> yeah, and it doesn't, and putting, just meshing two disjointed, unfinished things together doesn't always end up like a day in the life, a Beatles song, which was that situation, and it, was, it, it turned into something beautiful. Bad Eggs is not one of those things. Yeah, so... Yes, we will. We can uh, get into all the weirdness of this episode. Okay. So it starts with the Slayer opening again, halfway through the second season. Uh, uh, mm, I don't, don't know. All right, so we are at the mall. <laughs> okay. And this um, is funny. Mozart is playing in the background. Oh, I didn't catch that. And also, at some point in the scene, there is an Allie McBeal poster in the background. Did you ever watch Allie McBeal? I did not, and I didn't catch that. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't either. I just know that the, the dancing baby. Is from mm. Allie McBeal. I, I know that that's, I think that's the only thing I know about. That's the only show. reference I know on that show. I think I tried watching part of an episode once and I just was like, nope. I should put that on my list to like try it out at some point. Like some old. Not, I heard it's not that great. But the people that love it, love it though. Yeah. I feel like. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, it's being advertised in this episode. So Buffy and her mom are at the mall and. Buffy wanted to get a risque looking outfit, which Joy said, I don't think so, girlfriend. You're not getting that because you She's look like, like a streetwalker. An expensive streetwalker outfit. Yeah. <laughs> Buffy's like a thin streetwalker. Oh, yeah. She said that. I, I thought that was a little weird. She's like, I might have looked like a streetwalker, but I looked like a good, like a, like an attractive streetwalker. Like, is that like trying to say the streetwalkers aren't? Like no, I think she was weird. saying it was flattering to her, I guess. Uh, okay, That's what okay, I think. Okay, okay. okay maybe, yeah. Um, okay. Joyce is like, okay, well, good for you, but you're not, they're not getting it. <laughs> I'm not buying it for you. And I like when Buffy says, oh, so basically you're not old enough. And I like when Buffy says, so basically I'm just going to be too young to wear it until too old. And uh, Joyce is like, That's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I like that. And that was like such a mom, mom sentence there. 
So they are kind of running late and Joyce needs to pick up, they need to eat dinner and Joyce needs to pick up a an outfit from Everyday Woman. <laughs> and Buffy says, why don't you just call it, what did she say, Moo Moo's Are Us? See, we're having a good, we're laughing, we're having a good time this episode, okay. it's only the first scene. Yeah, so yeah, you know yeah. what, it's, it's... The scene, because the scene was actually good, I liked you it. You have to take it with a pinch of salt this ep- the whole episode. We're not going to get any really deep in this episode. <laughs> Joyce tells Buffy to go, go grab her outfit while she runs to the food court and gets them food before it closes. So Buffy's on her way to, to uh, get her mom's outfit and she's going down the escalator and she sees this like kind of like Texan looking guy mm-hmm. getting cozy with a girl going the opposite way up the escalator. Yeah. And she sees in the reflection on the other side of her that there's only the girls there. Oh, because I noticed all of a sudden that she turned around and wanted to get back and I was just like, what did she see? I missed that. Okay. Yeah, so you. on the other side of it, it's it. mirrored. Mm-hmm. escalator so she sees this the girl there so she knows it's a vampire and turns around and runs up the escalator after them okay yeah. cool so she's kind of follow she loses them a little bit but follows them down a hallway and follows them into like a what an arcade? it's, a, it's an like arcade. A arcade yeah it's either it. abandoned or closed well kind of they were playing things it must have just been closed at the time and they broke in basically so weird yeah so they're in the arcade alone and she comes up to him, and the girl's kind of like, excuse me. And I like how Buffy says to him, you said you'd never cheat on me again. So Buffy pretends that the vampire had cheated on her uh, just to kind of get this girl, scare this girl away. But the, yeah, she turns around, and she does see him in vamp face. So she, she skedaddles out of there. Yeah. And fast. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's out of there. And he, immediately he introduces himself as Lyle Gorch. And he's like obviously a Texan vamp. Yes, and the accent, like they, an old they, school accent. Yeah, like from a western. Yes, like he's friends with uh, John Wayne or something. Yeah. It's worse than John Wayne's accent. But does he? Do they tough tussle a little bit here? Yeah, a little they, bit. they fight a little bit. Yeah, and then he kind of just is like, "This isn't over. Goodbye," and leaves. But he, but he says, "Giddy up," and runs off. Giddy. up. Yes. Giddy up, Lyle. Yeah, so Buffy's like, great, thanks. Yeah. And she runs off to meet her mom at the food court because her mom's sitting there with the food and she forgot to pick the dress up. Of course she did. And Joyce is not happy about that. No. She's like, you need to show some responsibility. Like, was it just a boy? Were you distracted by a boy? She's like, technically? (laughs) Yes. Yeah. I found this scene really annoying because she's constantly on Buffy about, like, being more responsible. And it's like, if you only knew how much responsibility she had. And, like, do, do we already forget last episode, guys? Like, I, yes, exactly. What she's Joyce like, did and didn't do in the last episode. And she's she all could, up Buffy now, right now. Buffy didn't win. hold her mom's feet to the fire. And she no. would have been rightfully no. so could have. She could win worst mom of the year award. Yeah, she's not, she's not doing well in these early seasons. Um, so, yeah, and it's funny when she... She's like, what do you, I can't remember how what Joyce asked, but Buffy says. Something about, or is there anything besides boys and clothes? Oh yeah, saving the world from vampires. That was and her really mom's cute. like. And her tone was cute too. Yeah. Like it was and, very meek. Yeah, her mom's like, oh, okay, very funny. <laughs> you know, doesn't even for a second think it's anything. Yeah. No. No. So let me go to the credits. And then we're in closet number 17 of the season where Courtney and Xander are making out. Yet again. <laughs> and they end up fighting about not liking each other. Right. Um, Xander doesn't want Cordy to talk, and Cordy wants the lights out so she doesn't have to right. look at Xander. Yes, and they're both put off by this. Yeah, and they both are annoyed at each other for not <laughs> wanting to, like, kind of even acknowledge that they're kissing each other in this closet. Uh, and then they try to get mad, leave, and then they start making out again. <laughs> so, and Cordy makes sure the light's out. In, which is, I think it was called, I wrote sex ed class, but I think That's Willow, too. Willow so later you, calls it, I think, I Teen Health. Oh. Okay. She says, oh, Teen Health was canceled. I think that's what the mm. name of it is. So in the okay. Teen Health class, they're talking about sex consequence, the consequences of sex. <laughs> and Xander and Cordelia kind of throw, like, undercover barbs at each other. Mm-hmm. Um, like something about sex in the car? Yeah, well, they have not had sex. Right. I can guarantee you that. So I don't know. Cordelia's talking about somebody else. She's not talking about Xander there mm-hmm. in the beginning. But then it starts going back and forth about, I think he says she has like halitosis. Oh, and yeah. she's like, uh, he, he has to just put up with her like yammering to get some touch like and all this stuff. Um, and then I think Cordelia says something about his like fashion sense. And they're just like going back and forth. But they're saying, well, what if the guy this and what if the girl that? But they're not saying each other, obviously. So it's very, right. like, it's coded kind of. Yeah. And the teacher's like, 
no, this is not what I'm going for. Um, no, what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> and Willow finally says, uh, pregnancy. Yeah. He's, like, he's like, yes, thank you. That is like the biggest, <laughs> you know, uh, possible consequence of teen sex. And he brings, he has a thing of cartons of eggs on the uh, desk. And basically they are going to have to take care of the eggs in teams um, and that's going to be their little experiment on parenting. So, like, being right. teen parents with eggs. And remind me, did you you didn't have to do this in high school? We did the actual babies. Oh, not, not real babies. Okay. So <laughs> not the real did? babies, but the, the dolls Those, that yeah, okay. reacted well, had, and cried and you had to feed okay. them and change your diaper. We had the eggs because I'm older than you, so. Yeah, we had, we had in our class, Technology it wasn't. Technology has since improved. It was, it was a class called Life Skills, so it was, like, home ec, all that stuff, and it was, like, writing ch- it was like just life life skills oh, like okay, and one of cool. part of it was we learned to sew learn to cook learn to like do a check stuff like that and then we also that was one of them with a the baby thing and this was in high school this was in high school yeah i think nice. i was like a okay. sophomore or something when i took it or a freshman i think i was a freshman actually anyway everybody kind of can decide who they want to be with and xander kind of walks up to cordelia and she immediately grabs the nearest guy um, she doesn't want to be in a couple with Xander for this. And Xander just is, okay, fine, and goes and finds a girl to be a couple with. So they're <laughs> they're icing each other out at the moment. In the library, Buffy had missed class, and Xander and Willow come in, and obviously they're like, oh, you weren't there. And she says, well, vampire issues, because obviously um, a new vampire is in town, and she had to tell Giles about it, and they had to do mm-hmm. some research. So <laughs> this, is, this scene is actually pretty funny. And... Uh, She's like, did he notice? Did the teacher notice? Whatever his name is. Mr. Whitman or something, I think his name is. Did he notice I wasn't there? She's like, yeah. He told us, like, here's your egg. And she's like, this is a weird punishment. Abstract punishment, (laughs) the egg. She's like, no, you know, this is our little parenting thing. And she's like, well, who did I get? And they're like, well, there was an uneven number of students and you weren't there. She's like, I'm a single parent. (laughs) Immediately, she just sees her mom. She says that. She's like, I am doomed to live my mother's life. Exactly. How scary is that? How scary is that? So she's so annoyed that she isn't a single mother Mm. of this egg. I like when Giles comes out and says, he's starting to talk, and he's like, why do you have eggs? (laughs) Because they all have have their egg at the moment. And Giles starts, he comes out with the book and says that he found – um, Lyle in the book, and it's Lyle and Tactor Gorch, so they're brothers. That from, is not the word they, I heard, Tactor, okay. Tactor, yeah, from Albaline, and they had burnt down a Mexican village in 1886. They massacred. Yeah. And Buffy was like, wow, and he was like, that was or something about being a vampire. He's like, that's before they were vampires. Friendly little demons. So they weren't uh, good guys when they were humans. Yeah. And their names are a nod to the Wild Bunch movie. Because this is this, oh. the brothers' brothers in that movie, and they're the exact same names. Oh, I didn't know so, that. Little, this is our second Wild Bunch, I think, reference. I think the first one was in The Harvest, mm-hmm. um, which she said, like, don't go all Wild Bunch on me or something like that. I think that was our second one. Um, so, yeah, she's going. she's got these people, like, on her radar now that she's got to look out for. And they're going to have – they're suggesting that Angel helps her patrol – and Xander's like, yeah, sure. There'd be a lot of patrolling going on. And she's like, Xander, like, you're so mature. <laughs> you know, we're not slaves to passion. And then it immediately cuts to the graveyard where Buffy and Angel are making out. And there's just way too much making out in this scene, for, in this so whole episode of the for those two. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> for many years, many years, I was on the bangle train. And I was the all about train? it. Oh, Buffy and Angel. That's so yeah. cute. Bangle. I love that. Okay. Yeah. The Bangle Train. And after watching it so many times and everything and being older now, I just, like, don't get it now. What? I I just don't feel it. I don't believe it. I just don't get it. I'm sorry. You're, you know, we accept all ships and all opinions here. You can be Team Bangle. I support you. Uh, I just, uh, this last couple things i was like i just i just don't feel it so so just watching the make out the whole episode i was like okay let's let's move it along guys uh but yeah they are making out and they're on gorch watch well and then someone's watching them from a distance and who yeah 
Lo and behold, who is watching them? Yeah, the Gorge brothers are watching them. And they know right away it's in, well, they say it. Angelus. Angela, the, in, Angelus. Angelus. Yeah, it's Angelus, Angelus yeah. but Angelus. yeah, we'll always call them Angelus later on. But it's they still haven't switched over. Yeah. Uh, so they're still saying it weird in the in the show. Uh, but he's watching him. He says, and that's the Slayer. And they're together. That's weird. And we're going to come up with a plan and uh, figure something out. So they're just kind of watching them at this point. Yeah. In Buffy's bedroom, she's getting ready to go to bed. She has her egg tucked into her little bed. Egbert. Egbert. She's like, good night, Egbert. That. It's so it's cute. A, yeah, it's cute. And she like has a little checklist. She's like, diapers, burping. Like, okay, it's an egg. What yeah. are you doing? Like, what are you going to do like to it? The, how it has the cutest little basket, though. Yeah, it's a cute little little bassinet she's made so for weird it. weird how they have these, yeah. She's a good mom. Um, So she goes to bed. It's sitting there. And later in the night, we kind of do a little jump. So I'm assuming hours later, Buffy's asleep. And the egg hatches. Yeah, super creepy. It hatches in a little, like, yeah, what did I, a little like phallic. A, a worm arm? I, I mean, it kind of looks like a little little phallic worm comes out. <laughs> and it's like, ooh, kind of coming towards her. And then it, so it's like a tentacle kind of comes out. And then it, like, Jeez. it comes out more. And then we kind of, it like branches off. Yeah, it kind of looks like a weird, very skinny hand of worms. Creepy. We, haven't we had enough worms, like, with, the, with the, what's his face? Yeah, worm yeah. guy um it comes out and it kind of crawls on buffy's face and like kind of just sits there you think you'd wake up with something especially the slayer yep. something mm-hmm. crawling on your face oh my god so yeah but buffy stays asleep we go to the sewer and the gorge brothers are hiding out there and i agree with you i did like the gorge, gorge brothers i wish they would have been like better developed and had more time it had a better story than just yep. coming to sunnydale they, it just was so disjointed yeah just yeah. coming there kind of wanting to fight her and then what happened like and then just Bye. Like, yeah. I think they were cool ideas. They just weren't ex- executed very well, yeah. I think. I think they had potential. But, so they're there and they're kind of fighting as brothers do, even vampire brothers. Tector doesn't like Sunnydale. Oh. And Lyle is mad about it. Yeah. He's like, I've always taken care of you. You can obviously tell that Lyle's the older brother and Tector is the younger brother. And he's always been like, can maybe a father role or whatever, or like calling the shots. And Tector is like, I don't like it here. Why are we in the sewers? And he's like, we're laying low. And they just kind of get into a bit of a fight. And do you notice that Tector said like, oh, there's not a good whore in the whole town limits oh, yeah. or something? I was like, yeah. I had to like rewind that and put like, make sure that the, yep. the, the, um, co- the captions were on. Cause like, did he just say what I think he said? Yeah, yeah, he Very, uh, Wild West, uh, thing to say, I guess. Like there's no brothel nearby. Um, so weird. Yeah, and then they just be like, okay, let's just beat each other up since we're annoyed. <laughs> and they just kind of beat the crap. They just each take turns whacking each other. Um, and so I guess that's very brotherly, you know? Brothers yeah. just duke it out, and then they yeah. move on. I do like how they said in this yippee ki maybe. Yeah. So yes, much. very stereotypical uh, cowboy it talk. Made me think of a... Uh... Is it is it Die Hard? Thank you, yes, Die Hard. It, was Die Hard before this or after this? I'm so curious. Let's see, Die Hard. Oh, God, 88. Oh, okay, so it was first. Okay, cool. I thought it was later for some reason. In Buffy's bedroom, or in the, Buffy's house, Buffy wakes up and is, like, really, like, tired and out of it in the morning. And her egg looks normal. It Yes, yes, the egg Doesn't is normal. It crack and just, like, the shell just goes back to not cracked? I'm yeah, like, it just, anyway. like, was like, oop, I better, it's, like, glaze the outside and put it back just like it was found. And she goes downstairs, and her, Joyce is there, and they're eating breakfast. Um, and Joyce is kind of teasing her about her egg. Like, oh, how hard is parenting with your egg? Did your egg keep you up all night? And Buffy's like, I'm too tired to, like, deal with this. I just didn't sleep well. Like, oh, you're so funny with all these funny parenting jokes about the egg. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Buffy isn't feeling 100%. This is the main thing we want to take away from that. In the library, Willow comes in and says, Wister, Willow and Xander come in and say, Mr. Whitmore is out. For those, so teen health is canceled. Mm-hmm. Buffy's actually comes in too. They're telling Giles this. And Willow and Buffy are both dragging. Yeah, they're tired. They're super Z- selfish. Yeah, Xander is his own, is his usual perky self. Yep. And Xander says, you know, they all have their eggs and Buffy and Willow are very protective of their eggs, which is kind of cute. And Xander's like throwing his up in the air and catching it. And they're like, oh, ah, ah, no, oh, oh. We're like very skittish about him doing this. And he ends up dropping it and it doesn't crack. And I'm like, how did you do that? And he had hard-boiled it. So it's more durable. Sometimes you need to be cruel to be kind. Yeah. So he he's more durable. And they're like, you're cheating. That's cheating. That's such cheating. Yeah. And then uh, Giles says, 
something about like you're a Machiavellian, whatever. Um, and so that was a reference to Niccolo Machiavelli, the philosopher. So it basically, hmm. it means like one's goal, like achieving one's goal by any, whatever it means. So that's what he means by Xander. Like, okay, okay. you're going to pass this. You're going to make sure it doesn't break. And that you're, even if you're cheating, if you're boiling, you're young, you're you are going, you're going to get there. So that's, that's that little reference. And it's, I, Xander I, doesn't understand it. As Giles is like talking and grabbing a book, there's like an egg on the shelf. Mm-hmm. Like, we do see an egg that? back there on the back of the Maybe. shelf. Yeah, not good. Something's up with these eggs. Cordy comes in and said, not only is Mr. Whitmore um, absent, but he's missing. And she is thinking that he is dead. She's presuming yep. him dead. <laughs> he's like, presumed dead. By who? She's like, me. So she is saying that he is probably dead. Yep. And Cordy thinks that her and Xander should go check some closets mm. for Mr. Whitmore. Because his body could fall out of a closet. So they need to I mean, go yeah, off. Yeah, he might be in a closet. Mm-hmm. He's- totally wise and it's weird how nobody else like everyone else is thinking that's totally normal mm-hmm. so they run off to check some closets and willow does say are they getting weirder like she doesn't notice did, that yeah, something's notice weird that. with them I'm like okay i know you're not actually gonna answer me but like how much longer people mm-hmm. have gotta notice at some point soon i'm thinking mm-hmm. so we're uh, making out yes buffy says that they're gonna she's gonna do a sweep of the graveyards and uh, angel will help he'll do what he can and we go there and they're making out some more um, Angel tells Buffy to go home because she has to get up early. They haven't seen anything and he will like stay out and see if he can find the Gorge Brothers. He says he'll hunt the Gorge Brothers. And that's, yeah. That's just there's, so weird because he's a vampire. Yeah. And they're still kind of using the, they're mixing patrolling and hunting now. Yes, exactly. Remember I said like patrolling will become like the term, but right now they're still mixing it in and then it, like patrolling will be the term that they use. Um, they have an interesting conversation though. It's very telling and it is very... The beginning of a big theme in Buffy and Angel's oh, really? relationship. Like, the okay. future. Okay. What they would be able to have. What they wouldn't be able to have. Is it is that fair to Buffy? Is it fair to Angel? Whatever. Because um, he can't... I mean, that's the thing. I... Okay, so he can't have kids. He's dead. And she... So. She says... He's worried about the future, and she says she's not. She doesn't think about the future. She only sees him as her future. She only wants him. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm... And I'm just like... I don't know, like, she's, what, 16, right? She's turns, she's almost 17, but yeah, she's she's 16. She's almost 17, and we're talking about kids. Yeah, I think it's because the egg thing got brought up, like the egg project at school. So she's like, yeah, I don't want to have kids anytime soon. And that's, he's like, well, I can't ever have kids. And that's kind of like why I came up, I think. So yeah, that opens up to the thing, the conversation about their future. And like, Angel saying, you know, he can't have kids and, She's gonna miss out on stuff and everything, but you know she is a slayer. Have kids, There's he's like you don't know what's gonna happen one year, five years from now. Exactly. And like, you know, slayers have a short shelf self, shelf life. Yeah, so exactly. I'm not surprised that she's not thinking that far ahead. She could be dead yeah. any time. Okay, yeah. Like she but likely like how, will be. How would you have a kid as a slayer too? You have to run off all the time. Like, yeah, like, like it's not safe to have a kid as a slayer. Okay. I mean, have a Slayer. Uh, yes, have a kid as a Slayer. Yeah, um, I feel like it would be a good child for your choice. Yes. I don't really get what the issue is here, mm-hmm. uh, besides the, from the child point of view. Um, you know, there's other stuff like can't go in the sunlight together and all this and her aging and him not. There's all that. That stuff, yeah. There's that Good stuff, thing. which I think is probably more. Unless if she really wants children, I get that that is a deal breaker for people, whether you're dead or alive sometimes. Yeah, you know what I mean? I get that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so this is opening a... a this is a theme for Buffy and Angel, like, that, what about the future? What about the future? So this is the first time we actually start diving into that. Uh, yeah, and she says, all I see is you in the future, which is very, a 16-year-old thing to say. She is 16. I mean, yeah. He says and also, back, He says he knows no. the feeling. Yeah. Um, I think also, I say that I'm not feeling like Buffy and Angel, and like, whatever, because I do have like who she becomes over the exactly you over the show. Buffy, you have future Buffy. I have Buffy now. In yeah, this yeah, yeah, yeah. So for so me, like, this is it. Mm-hmm. Looking back at Buffy as a 16 year old, I'm like, of course she's going to say that. I mean, you know what I mean? At 16. Yeah, I know, but yeah, I have hindsight for her, um, and it's not about Angel specifically. It's just about like things aren't that simple. You know no, what I mean? I, I and she like, will come to know that. In all fairness, though, like, if you are in a relationship, whether you're 16 or not, and it gets to a point where you feel serious with that person, you do feel that way anyway, regardless. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, you should, yeah, I definitely, yeah, she definitely feels that way. multiple times because obviously not everybody sticks with the same person forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So at school, a security officer finds the basement door open and goes down to investigate. And he finds a big hole in the wall. And yeah, he's kind of so just like weird. sticking his head in there like, what the, what's going on here? Why would you stick your hole in the wall? I don't know. That's Cause, creepy. Because he's, it's his job, I guess. I guess. Uh, but Mr. Whitmore comes up behind him and pushes him in, or kind of, like, hits him in with, like, an axe or something. Like, just like kind of knocks him in there. So Mr. Whitmore is not dead. He's hanging out in the basement. Yep. In Buffy's bedroom, we see she's sneaking back in to like, from, from patrolling. It's like, yes, it's, like, 2.45 in the morning. We will see the clock in a little bit. So it's probably 2.40 in the morning. And we see the egg is moving. It's, like, about, you know, it's, like, shaking. Like, something's going on in there. And Buffy sees it and walks over to it. And it hatches very quickly and, like, whee, something spews and out of it. The creepiest thing ever. And as I'm watching this episode, I text Ashley and I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's so gross. So creepy. It is so gross. And it just, like, it looks like a, a very fleshy um, scorpion, kind of. Yep, yep. Yeah. Also, like, part brain. Yeah, very, yes, very, like, mushy. Like, yeah, a scorpion's, like, hard. And, like, uh, yeah. Gross. Liquidy around it. Like and then like like a, a scorpion made out of intestines. Yep. That's it. <laughs> and it has like all these legs, it's like and it's, it's running all around so her room me. and it's, it's so gross. Yep. Yes, it is disgusting. Okay. No, it's not okay. So it g- drops down on her, it's like scorpion life. She grabs an iron and she's like, Yeah, that's what she had it on hand, an iron. And she's like trying to find it. It drops down the ceiling from her and she like kinda like sh- throws it off. And it scurries again under something, like under behind her, like, um, her dresser or something. And she grabs some uh, scissors and it kind of just waits. And we can see it out of focus. This is actually yeah, a close cool shot. Her. F- crawling up the wall behind her. And she just uses her slayer senses and she can sense that it's crawling up the wall. And she turns around really quickly and stabs it. <sighs> and then just stabs it, stabs it, stabs it on the ground. And it's like, hey, oh, oh, it's so gross. <laughs> It's a great little creature because it definitely is, was well done because it was gross. And Buffy's like, oh, my God, there's something going on with the eggs. So she calls Willow. It's 2.45 in the morning. We see the, the time on the clock. And it's like, You're, my egg just attacked me. Like, smash your egg. Like, get rid of it. And Willow says, oh, well, my egg's fine. Maybe it was just the Gorge Brothers, like, planted that as a trap for you. And she's like, you know, maybe that you're right. Like, maybe I'm overreacting. Like, maybe it was just me. She doesn't call Xander, by the way. Oh yeah, only well, calls Willow. Like, was hard boiled though. Oh, that's Remember, right. This was that's true. Or that's and true. That's true. Willow's like, I put it in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that detail. Yeah. Is it? Uh, maybe she thinks that. I don't know. I don't know why they really included that. I thought that, that was really weird to say that. Anyway. Keeping it, keeping her baby fresh. Um. Yeah. So she's like, okay, never mind. Sorry. And of course, all this commotion. She hangs up with Willow, and her mom and Joyce comes in. It's like, who are you talking to? It's two, you know, it's like almost three o'clock in the morning. And Buffy's standing there. She quickly covers up the creature. Yeah. yeah. Like she's ready to go out. She's like, where do you think you're going? And she can't really tell her mom anything. She kind of tries to lie and says she called Willow because she was sick. You know, she's not buying it. it you know, work, Joyce yeah. is not buying it at all. And Buffy is busted grounded. and grounded. Mm-hmm. In the quad, or actually they were outside the school, but Joyce is dropping Buffy off and she tells her she's going to go right to the library after school and she will pick her up from there after she's done with work. Like, that's it. No, like, hanging out with friends. Like, she's she's grounded. So Buffy gets library. out and is like, okay. School and library and that's it. Yeah. School and the library and home. So Buffy passes Cordy and asks her about her egg. So but um, Cordy has this kind of cute little uh, teddy bear backpack. Yeah. Which is cute. And... She says, like, well, is everything okay with your egg? Is it normal? She's like, yeah. Like, it's fine. Like, and it was why a are you being Cordelia response? Why are you being so weird? She says, well, he's like, where is it? She's like, it's in her in my bag. And uh, we see Xander off in the distance, well, in a different shot in the same area on a bench. And he's like, really hungry. He's eating a like a protein bar. And he's like, ugh, he doesn't like it. And he's like, oh, I have this egg. I don't know what he was just going to buy another egg to replace it or something. But he knows he has this hard boiled egg. So he's like, he's going to eat it. So he like taps it. He starts opening it. Okay. And like breaking the shell. Right. So Xander brings it up. To, he's like distracted by someone and he brings yeah. it up to his mouth. And he almost eats it. And we see like the body, like still in egg, like shape in the egg. And uh, he almost eats it. And he's like, ah, and throws it and starts screaming, of course. And Willow says that she's going to 
Uh, now Buffy knows it's not just her egg. So she's going to, Willow says, Giles told us to go to the, um, to the computer, the, sorry, the science lab, and we will analyze it. But then we notice that there's something on her back, like mm-hmm. on her, like, basically, like, where your tramp stamp would be. Yep. <laughs> She's got a creature, uh, a scorpion tramp stamp. Mm, not good. That's not, no. that's not normal. No. So in the science lab, Willow, Xander, Cordy, and Buffy are all there. Willow comes in and says, Giles will come soon. He's he's busy, so we're going to get is, started. This is where I thought that was already weird. When she's like, Giles is busy, he's coming later. I thought that was kind of a weird thing. Yeah. So the te- they're debating who's going to actually cut it open. And Buffy's like, I slayed it. My job here is done. And Xander's like, I almost ate one, so I'm not doing it. And Will- so Willow's like, fine, I'll do it. And while this is this conversation's happening, we see Cordy's bear. Is she still wearing that backpack? And a tentacle pops the ba- bear's eye out and is kind of like, oh, oh, coming out. So gross. Yeah. And they're talking about, like, I hope Mr. Do you think it killed Mr. Whitmore? Like, yeah. what, what happened to him? And Willow says, or maybe he just used the, the, the offspring used him to return to the mother, Bozar. Like, and they're like, what? <laughs> Come again? What was that? Like, that yeah. doesn't make any sense. No, it was weird. All of a sudden, they're, they're very confused, and Cordy mm-hmm. and Willow knock Buffy and Xander out. Yeah, like, what the... Yeah, and then drag them with the mother students into, like, a closet and lock them up and leave them there. Mm-hmm. In the basement, we see, well, some other room, like, maybe a like utility a room. Yeah, so like, no. where the maintenance for the school is, and then, then, also, then to the basement this happens. Yeah. Cordy and Willow and other students collect like tools like yeah. different different tools like like axes or picks or whatever where they can find and they were kind of like walking in like a trance like yeah. state and they all head to the basement and they head they into that, that hole, creepy hole in the wall, yeah. they, go, they all head into the hole and the library joyce arrives to get buffy and buffy is nowhere to be found mm. and giles is trying to like kind of cover for her yeah. like oh i'm sure I'm sure she didn't mean to be late or whatever. Like, he's trying to, you know. He's trying to stick up for her, really. Yeah, he's trying to, like, be like, oh, like, well, I'm sure something came up or whatever. Children are a burden. I have that. Kids are a burden, exclamation point, question mark. Yeah. What kind of are you? That's pretty bad. Yeah. Say mm-hmm. that your kids are a burden. She's like, I want to say kid, they're like, a burden. Honestly, her kid isn't that bad. Like, I know her mom doesn't see the whole context, but, like, even yeah. just, like, the little bits of context that I see that she would see, it's not that bad. God. Yeah, that's pretty harsh to say that. Yep. So, especially one of your kid's teachers. So she's irresponsible. Yeah. Yeah. So, so then Giles just attacks her. He's like, forget it. I've had enough. So. I'm just kidding. He was going to attack her anyway, but. Yeah. <laughs> I had enough of you, Joyce. Um, so she does see a book, a demon book, Joyce does, and it's Brist- uh-huh. Bristow's Demon Index. And Giles is kind of like, oh, no, 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 don't look at that. No, no, no. Let's just move that away. Like, so don't, don't look at that. Um, and Joyce turns around and Giles, like, lifts one of the little, like, squiggly things and puts it on Joyce. Yeah, gross. One of the creatures. And she screams. Yeah. yeah. And then they all head to the basement. Mm-hmm. In the closet, Buffy and Xander come to. And they're like, why didn't they just kill us? Like, why did they put us in here? And they notice that there's, there was two eggs in there. That they left in there. So they thought it was going to hatch and get them. And then it would, like, turn them into whatever those everybody is. Like, whatever zomb- like creature zombies everyone's at. And it's so gross when Buffy sees them and takes, like, a big toolbox and just smashes Smash them. them. Yeah. And it was, like, what, like, blue or something? Like, blue goo? Yeah. Birds everywhere? Like, and there's eggs everywhere. Oh, my God. So gross. Yeah. So nasty. All right. In the library, Buffy and Xander... They they go to the library and they're gonna re. They remember that Willow said like the bizarre or bizarre bizarre yeah. And um, they find yeah. They see that Giles was there. He like had it open. Um, Mm -hmm. so they start looking at it, but they also knows there's a cracked egg. So they're like, something probably got Giles too. In the basement, everyone is digging, kind of just like, like they're all like the seven dwarves, like in the mine. (laughs) They just like translate, like yeah, just chuck, check it up, move a move a rock, pass a rock. It's like they're so very weird. like it's quiet, no one's talking, and they are also collecting eggs from the ground. So they're like digging up something. They're like tra- they're like trying to get through the cement. Yep. And they're taking eggs and and putting them away, to the side. And the, but we also see like in the holes that they've managed to 
clear of the cement, there's like, there's like a bigger so creature down there. It's so gross. And it does look, it does look like a brain. You just you don't yeah, see the does. whole thing. Like it's a big pink slimy. Yeah. Pulsing. Fleshy. Thing. Yes. <sighs> it is pulsing. Ew. Um, and do we see the eye at this point, or is it later? Um. We the s- eye is there. We see it at some point. Yeah. I think we um, see it at this point. Okay, so we'll just at some point we see the eye. There's a big eye big, in there huge, too. Gross, creepy. That's looking eye. around. Yeah. Yep. In the library, Buffy and Xander read the text that Giles had obviously been in the middle of looking at, and they say that it's a pre prehistoric parasite. And the it's mother like it does neural clamping. Ew. Yeah. I like Xander says that's skippable. That's not skippable. The mother hibernates underground, laying laying eggs. The offspring then attach themselves to a host taking control of their motor functions through neural clamping. Yeah. And Xander's like, that doesn't sound fun. So basically, like... People are taking orders from Mama Bezor. Yeah. Bezor. Bezor? I think it's Bezor. I can't remember. I thought that was um, cute. So they're figuring this all out, and then they hear Jonathan screaming in the hallway. And like, get it off says, of me! Or somebody says, I think I hear a mommy calling. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Buffy. <laughs> and they go out of the hallway, and then all of a sudden, Jonathan's fine. Yeah, weird. Yeah, uh, he's fine, Tell and then just normal. shows up. I think this is when I think this is when Buffy says, "But mommy's calling." When she notices, um, like obviously okay. he was being attacked, and now he's like in the trance now. So then they follow Jonathan. They follow Jonathan into the basement, and they see Jonathan goes into the hole, and they follow and see the whole group. They and see they the, pretend, the group. They just yeah. They pretend to like they pretend to be in a trance too. Yeah, Buffy goes to get a weapon. She's like, "We're gonna need a big weapon," and Xander just kind of like goes in there and like pretends that he's one of them google gobble one of us um (laughs) and he follows cordy who is carrying all the eggs like they're extracting eggs from the ground putting them in like a little basket or whatever and cordy goes off with another person and to put them somewhere so he follows them and buffy is in the basement just outside of the hole and she finds a pipe something that she can go in there and fight with and then guess who's back the gorge brothers show up (laughs) they appear in the basement and um, Buffy's like, I don't need this right now. <laughs> like, guys, can we reschedule this? Doesn't one of them say she's so cute and little? Do you think we can keep her? Yeah. <laughs> That's cute. That was a cute line. That's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, and they end up fighting into the hole. Yep. So they are in there now. All this is being mixed up. And Buffy and the brothers are fighting the group. Because the group is starting to, like, come at them because they know that they're, like, they're other... Like, they, like, kind of have to team up. Yeah, they're kind of... I, defi- yeah. This is new. This is... I like this, actually. I like that scene. Yeah. The, they're, and the brothers are like, what the hell is going on here? Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, Buffy's fighting them and the brothers are fighting them. They're not fighting each other anymore. Yeah. Um, and we cut to Xander, who's trying to get to the eggs. And he has to knock out the guy that's with Cordy. And then Cordy tries to, like, hit him. And then he knocks Cordy out. Mm-hmm. So everybody's hitting each other. Yep. Um, so Xander now has the eggs that they were extracting. Back in like the main room, Tektor is like, what is this? And like gets too close to the edge and he like yeah. sees the creature in the ground and a tentacle comes out and grabs him by the leg or like yeah. around the ankle and pulls him in and basically eats him. Yep. And of course, uh, uh, yeah, brother his brother, Lyle, is Lyle. like very upset with this. It's like his little brother. Um, just pushes her in. Yeah, and he, yeah, Buffy goes in, but she, not before she, like, grabs, like, a pickaxe, I think. Mm-hmm. I think it's a pickaxe. She grabs a pickaxe as she goes down, and then we can hear her fighting and slicing and dicing it. So and she badass. crawls out, and she's covered in, like, covered the bluish-black in- goo. And, um, she I think... She looks traumatized. Yeah, and she's kind of like, okay, you next? Who's next? And Lyle's like, maybe not. He's like, okay, now it's over. Like earlier he said, this isn't over. He's like, okay, now it's over. And he takes off. Yeah. Because he's like, I don't want to mess with this badass bitch. Yeah. So he's learned his lesson and he takes off. Outside in the school, um, somewhere outside that area on the school grounds, everyone is leaving. They're all kind of like dazed. Because like once Buffy killed the, the, the creature, the mother creature, everyone kind of like snapped out of... Um, out of the trance. Yeah. So everyone, he's leaving, and Giles is running around. This is so cute. Giles is running around. He's like, everyone, it's fine. It was a gas leak. It happens. These gas things happen. And he goes to Xander and said, what happened, really? Because <laughs> he was obviously under the thrall, whatever it was. Yeah. And 
um, Joyce finds Buffy and is like relieved that she's okay because she's like, there was a gas leak. I thought you were trapped in the school. And Buffy's like, oh yeah, I uh, was just combing from the gym. And her mom's uh, sympathy doesn't last very long. Oh my God, no. She's terrible. She should she, just be happy that Buffy wasn't there. Yeah. And she says, oh, I'm grounded. She's like, you're already grounded. Now you can't even leave your room. You can go to the bathroom and it's cool. And that's it. You can't leave your room. Buffy's like, okay. Like, just defeated. Like, what can I do? I can't make anybody happy. And then we go to Buffy's room and Angel thinks she's going to get her and Angel are kissing again. And they, he's like, are you sure you're not going to get in trouble? She's like, no, like, I'm allowed I'm to do room. this. I'm not breaking any room, room. any rules. So Buffy, they're at her windowsill. He's outside. She's inside. So technically she's not breaking any rules. She's still in her room. <laughs> and that's the end of the episode. So we kind of flew through that, but there wasn't much deep stuff to get no, into. Not really. I will say there is foreshadowing for this episode for what's to come. Oh, interesting. Uh, I'm we, trying to see what I can tell you. We we missed a little brief thing though. Um, oh, did we? Oh. Before Buffy gets pushed in, uh, when the when Lyle got mad, um, he pushes Buffy towards Bazaar, and Joyce almost axes Buffy. That's true. But Bazaar grabs her by the legs and pulls, and then shrieks, and everyone falls down. Yes. That is and right. Then, like he leans over the edge to check, and Buffy is like, she can, she throws out her weapon and comes out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's when she realizes that her mom is is under the thrall too. She has also Giles comes at her at one point. And she kind of just has to deflect him. But I, was, I felt like with the him. mom that was kind of ironic, I guess, because it's her mom. And mm -hmm. Her mom sucks, and now her mom's trying to like axe her, even if she, even though she's under a spell, it's still just yeah. like another yeah, one for Joyce. Yep. Yep. I'm not liking Joyce. Uh, yeah, so I, what the, how can I say this? Let's just say the repercussions that were supposed to be, like, taught in this episode come to fruition in the next, ep well, the next couple episodes. There's a reason that Bad Eggs came right before these episodes that we're about to have. Okay. Like, the order makes sense. Okay. Even though it's not a great episode, but. I don't know what that means, but okay, sure. Okay. Well, this, you can just wait and see. You don't have to. Okay, so my favorite that quote, <laughs> my favorite quote was, these gas things will happen. What was it really? When Giles says that, he's all disheveled and he's all dirty and he's like, eh, you know, he's trying to keep it together. And what was it really? Does he enter? <laughs> I just thought that was so funny. Giles got the best lines. Um, my favorite scene was actually when Buffy was fighting the creature in her room. Because it was so creepy and gross and I just, like, that was the scene that I was, like, most, like, reacted to. I was like, ah! That was gross. Um, and, like, just so it, you saw it, like, running around. It was so nasty. Um, and I thought it, that was actually well done. Because it made definitely, a f I reacted. So that little creature I thought was well done. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that was, I say, is my favorite scene. Her little battle with the little, the little mama. Okay. Or the baby. I had two favorite lines. The one was the yippee ki -yay, maybe, just because it was, like, for me, it reminded me of Die Hard. Mm -hmm. um, but also, at one point, when Buffy, like, around the time Buffy was asking Cordelia about her egg when she's wearing the little backpack thing, um, I don't remember what was said right before this, but I think Xander says, it's an egg, Buffy. It doesn't emote. Oh, it was Cordelia. Oh, yeah. Cordelia. Yeah, she okay. says, yeah. That's it's really an egg, cute. Buffy. It doesn't emote. Like, you, yeah. what's wrong with you? I thought that was really funny. Like, come on, Cordelia. You've been around this block before. You know all kind of weird stuff happens. The eggs could do something. Exactly. Like, you've seen enough to know that you can't ever assume anything's safe. And my favorite scene was when the vampire brothers were helping Buffy, the Gorge brothers, helped Buffy fight the weird thing. The brain thing. I don't the, know. Yeah, this is the train. Yeah. That was interesting. Yeah, because they yeah. were fighting each other. And immediately, they had a bigger adversary. So they yeah. couldn't really fight each other anymore. Uh, yeah, that was good. What's your stake rating? I gave it a three. Okay. I gave it a three. Oh boy. Okay. I just I, I mentioned like I said again like the two weird storylines trying to be like mushed together. Mm. I think I, that's how I feel this episode is like it's yeah. just like two half baked ideas that were trying to put in one episode and neither was done justice by that. Yeah. I feel like. Um, ew. It was also a, a lot of like gross. It was a gross episode visually. Um, I said too much Buffy and Angel. Macking on each other for me. <laughs> Fine. That's a for, for, me. for me. That can be a pro for you. Fine. Um, I just seen enough. Um and I said, like, why is Joy so mean? Right? Especially with Ted being the last episode. You think she should be giving her a lot of leeway for the mistakes Joyce just made. Yep. 
which are potentially way more traumatic and damaging to their relationship to Buffy than the things Buffy is doing that mm-hmm. Joyce knows about, obviously. Uh, so I didn't so remember surprised. Joyce being this problematic to me personally. Uh, I'm honestly surprised Buffy doesn't act out more because of her shitty parenting. Yeah, like one's not even around and the other one's like really hard on her. Yeah. So uh, I honestly don't, I, this is like the first time I'm remembering how like much problems I have with Joyce. Yeah. Uh, so it's interesting. Uh, I said more Gorch brothers. I think they were definitely more interesting than the egg thing, but they just it didn't go anywhere. It was like kind of dead in the water right away. So yeah. there was a missed opportunity with Gorch brothers, I think. Yep, I agree. Yeah. I I gave it like I put three question mark, two point five question mark. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like honestly, it's kind of a toss up. Maybe yeah. like a two point seven five. I don't know. Yeah, you could split the diff. <laughs> Um, so yeah, some of the things you said, I, I could have used more of the Gorge Brothers as well. Um, I don't know. I didn't really like much about this episode. Yeah. Joyce, yeah. like, I'm at my wits on Joyce. Like, I, I can't stand her right now. She's just so mean and terrible. And there were a few good funny lines. Um, the scene with the Gorge Brothers fighting with Buffy was a good one. Um, they were interesting characters. Could have used a little more development. But, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's all I really have to say about this episode. Yeah, we got through it. We'll say that. We yeah. got through it. It does have, like, in, a, in like, three episodes, or not even three episodes, you'll be like, okay, I see, like, the loose connection there. Like, the theming. Like, the theme, like, carried through. But um, much in much more effective and entertaining and better way, for sure. Um, okay. So your question for next week. So next week's episode is called Surprise. Okay. And Willow is speak, speaks another language. What is it? I'll give you a big hint. We have seen Willow speak this language before. It's not English. It's not English. <laughs> uh, we saw her speak another language before? Well, did she Was actually... it in the episode where they had to confront their fears? No. I don't think so. Maybe she didn't speak it, but we've had we've had the the, the connection between Willow and this. Because like w- during that episode, before. she was supposed to sing in Italian or something. Oh, good, good. No, it's not that. But that's a good. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, that's a really good um, catch. Is she Jewish in this? She show? is. She is Jewish. Yeah. So Hebrew. Okay. That's a good educated guess. She spoke this language. Latin. Oh, you know what? I want to change to Latin. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Latin it is. I'm going to go with Latin. <clears throat> okay. This up here. Okay. So that wraps up season two, episode 12, Bad Eggs. P-U. It was the, about as bad as the smell of bad eggs. So it was aptly named. Again, you can find us on all major podcast apps and YouTube and Instagram at One Girl in All the World Pod. You can email us at onegirlpod at gmail.com. Thanks for joining us, and we'll be back next week with season two, episode 13, Surprise. Buckle up, everybody. The the train has left the station after this, this next episode. Like, get ready, because it's like heartbreaks coming to town. What? Yeah, like serious Wait. angst. I love it. Who's like, gonna get their heart broken? Oh my goodness. Hang Wait. on. It's a surprise. That's why the episode's called. Better not be Buffy and Angel. So, uh, yeah. Um, well, you have a little bit. You have a little bit till you find out, kind of. But, um, yeah. This is the... We're about to put your hands up on the roller coaster because it's, it's going to start now for the rest right. of the season. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, we'll see you next week. All right. See you real soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>